here we have our new Neil 43, a stock boat for multi-hole solutions. Very exciting boat, cruising trimaran. Very light, very nice performing sailboat uh, with the ability to go cruising as well. I'd like to show you some of the features as we go through the boat, just the points that make this boat different to a lot of cruising catamarans and which make this boat so special. Why do we have a trimaran as opposed to a catamaran or a monohull? The trimaran with its three hulls, like the main centre hull, which has most of the accommodation and the storage facilities and everything, and you have your two outside hulls which provide writing moment to stop the boat heeling over. The trimaran heals a small amount, but because it's still got the one main hull, it sails, it feel, when you're sailing, it feels a lot more like a traditional monohull boat. It will point up quite high into the wind, um, and the motion through the water is a lot like a monohull. Whereas the catamaran tends to be a little bit more jerky, this has a smooth motion through the waves with a small amount of heel. So here we have the dinghy storage on the Neil 43 and you can see the cradles molded into the deck here so the tender sits along the back of this transom. It'll fit about a 3.3, 3.4 meter tender but the smaller you go the easier it's going to be. The dinghy lift is here in my hand and this is the topping lift off the mainsail. Now the lazy jack system on the mainsail will support the boom and with the main sheets let off a little bit all we do with a captive winch up there with the uh, topping lift on, we can just use this here, bring this down, bring the boat along the, along the transom here. We can attach the, uh, the slings from the tender and then just me, one person here alone, can lift the boat up very, very simply, place it on the cradle, undo the slings, and then we just take that back up with the remote. So here we are at the helm station on the Neil 43. Nice three-seater lounge for everyone to, uh, to sit at. You've got uh, Brooks and Gatehouse B&G instrumentation as standard on these boats. And what we have here is an electric winch for our main halyard. This is the Genoa winch, which can also be powered if you wish. And this unit here is a captive line driver, which is the topping lift. So this unit here controls your topping lift and your dinghy lift. So the Neil 43 has a single Volvo 50 horsepower engine and along with a bow thruster, the boat is easily as maneuverable as any catamaran. Helm station with the B&G electronics, chart plotter, autopilot, etc. And uh, we've also got a second control for the windlass here as well. The steering uh, on the Neil is all Vectran cable, which makes for a beautifully balanced boat and provides a lot of feedback at the helm. So this is a boat that people will enjoy sailing. It's, uh, it's very rewarding to sail. It's something that's easy to sail, but if you want to do a little bit of work and trim things nicely, uh, you'll get a really good turn of speed out of this boat, especially in light winds. Uh, we were sea trialing this morning in about eight to 10 knots of breeze and doing seven, seven and a half knots upwind. So it's very, very, very rewarding to sail this boat. So we have lovely wide side decks, nothing to, to get in your way as you come up to the foredeck. And on the foredeck here, we've got the roller furling Genoa, which is the standard sail plan. This particular boat has the carbon performance rig. So the rig is slightly higher, not very much, but because of the different configuration, we get a much larger sail area, which gives us a lot, a lot nicer performance. We've got two 180 watt solar panels there. You can have extra solar panels, but this is enough for us to keep the fridge up. We can also have as an option, a removable inner forestay with a stay sail. And if you were going blue water cruising, that's exactly the sort of option you'd pick because that will be a, a lovely sail that you'll be able to work in any, any sort of wind strengths. Um, as we come up here, we have the anchor winch mounted on deck. The anchor chain storage is in this locker here. Okay. This hatch here goes into the forward cabin, which you'll see down below. And then the anchor is deployed off a bowsprit 
uh, which also keeps the anchor well clear of the hull so that for any damage is, uh, it is limited there. And that bowsprit, of course, is also used to fly our asymmetric spinnaker, uh, which we use for downwind sailing. So easy access up onto the top of the coach roof, non-skid all the way here, so you're feeling very secure. And in working on the sail, um, it's at the right height. Uh, I'm short and anybody can reach this sail, pack it away in the lazy bag so that it, uh, it really is quite an easy boat to work on. We've got non-skid all around this section here uh, and there's steps on the mast on the other side should you need to use them. So we have two steps on this side of the mast uh, if you need to get right up high but the, the way the main uh, halyard system works on this boat is uh, very very simple, very foolproof and when one drops the halyard on this boat the sail comes all the way down. We packed up the boat earlier today, never used the steps once. The system on the main, we have one line here, goes direct to the top car, just there. And as you pull the sail up, that just pulls the head of the sail straight up against the mast. Both holes, both outside holes on the Neil have huge storage areas in the bow. Uh, it can be fitted out as an option for a berth if you wished, but, uh, but storage wise, you've got loads of room for sails, fenders, all those cruising kit through a large hatch opening and then moving forward from where we are here. Because you'll see in here, we have the spinnaker stored along with a lot of safety gear. So the trimaran holes, the outside holes have very little in the water, but just enough so that at anchor, the boat's not rocking. So all three holes are in the water at anchor and the boat's perfectly horizontal. Once you sail the boat, the windward hull will lift and uh, that reduces your drag quite a lot so that you, uh, you enjoy that sailing performance. Okay, coming aft into the nice spacious cockpit with your really good access to the helm station from here. We have storage under this hull here, again for fenders, etc. And we have the standard cockpit shower, hot and cold water at the cockpit shower. We have the aft winches for the spinnakers. And aft on this hull, of course, we have the boarding ladder, which is a substantial boarding ladder with great handholds, easy to get you out of the water. So the nice roomy cockpit here, loads of different options for seating, space for barbecues. You're still in, still in contact with the helm very easily and it opens up into the interior of the boat so you can have this area as closed up or as open as you wish. Under this uh, fiberglass piece here we have the life raft and of course this is the freeing port for the cockpit as well so that should in the unlikely event the cockpit does fill with water it's out of here in a split second. So here we have a lovely seating position behind the helm seat and this is really enjoyable under sail and behind these backrest cushions we have the two gas lockers so there's one here uh, and one more behind this one. When you're underway sitting here is uh, the reason you buy the boat it's fantastic. So we have a lovely roomy saloon here, lots of natural light. We have 270 degrees of excellent vision. Uh, nice wide central passageway here. Okay, we've got the fore and aft galley here with tons of bench space, two burner gas stove and gas oven and loads of storage here on a boat for this size. So we've got the forward V-berth here, which in the way of V-berths is a huge one, I have to say. It's a very comfortable double bed and loads of floor space in there as well. We have our privacy door, so this cabin can be kept completely private. So a fantastic owner's cabin on the bridge deck of the Neil. And this is one of the reasons that the trimarans are such a hit because instead of being buried down in a hole, you're actually on the deck with all the view 
and you wake up to you know 270 degrees of, uh, of light and air and space. It's fantastic. And here we have our third cabin. Now this is an amazingly versatile area where you can have family, children, an overflow cabin for extra crew. You can use this for however you want. You've got a huge amount of space under the bunk for storage if you wish. And if you're not using this for, uh, for people, you can use it for storage for bags and other sailing gear. In this sort of climate, I love the fact that it's really open and airy, but if you're in a colder environment, there is an option to seal this in with a plexiglass screen. So you'll be able to see through, much the same as the owner's cabin. But this one, you have some privacy by pulling a curtain, and so this whole cabin can be sealed off with curtains, but obviously it's much nicer and airier if it's, uh, if it's left open like it is now. Here's the uh, head and shower on the Neil 43. It's a utilitarian design, tons of headroom, lots of space, and behind the toilet there you'll see a wet locker, which is very close to the saloon entrance, so it's really handy for throwing your wet weather gear. We have a Volvo Penta 50 horsepower sail drive, and you'll see that you have fantastic access all the way around the engine. So servicing and maintenance on this boat is, uh, is about as easy as you can get. You've, uh, you've also got access back there to the steering quadrant, the steering cables, uh, autopilot ram, etc. So really there's nothing on this boat hidden away that's going to cause you maintenance problems at a later date. In the front half of the technical area, you'll see we have uh, fuel tanks. We've got uh, 270 litres of fuel. We've got 500 litres of water. We've got the hot water system, we've got the water manifolds, we've got the uh, Fisher Panda 8 kilowatt gen set, all the batteries, battery switching, solar panel controllers, inverter charger, and all the AC wiring here. But what this is, is putting all of your heavy equipment on the boat into the one area which is central and directly under the mast. So it means as far as weight distribution goes, this boat is about as good as you can get on a multi-hull. All of the weight is central, which reduces pitching. And again, all of this contributes to the, uh, to the great sailing performance of this boat. So what I really love about the Neil 43, apart from its sailing performance, is the amount of light and space that you get in the saloon here. You've got to remember this is a 12.9 metre boat, and to get this amount of space in that boat is, uh, is been a great job done by the designers. This boat is so easy to sail and yet sails so well, it means that you'll be able to leave the dock, go out for a day sail, come back, put it away. It really is a very, very simple boat to sail and yet gives you all the benefits of a performance multi-hull.